Hey everyone, it's JJ from JJ Pin. I'm making a new video. Well, it's a new concept for me, but I'm gonna try my best. So, in this video, I'm gonna be doing a tutorial. And this tutorial is, well, making your own custom commands in Minecraft, which I think is actually a really interesting concept. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So, the first command you wanna do is slash, well, it's kind of the most basic one, is slash give your username and then command block. Now do keep in mind while we're doing all this is for 1.15.2 and above. Well, actually it could just be 1.13 and above, but I'm in 1.15.2. So what you're going to first want to do is place your command block or you could do this in uh, place the command block and then do slash scoreboard objectives add and then the name I'm going to be doing a basically it's basically a custom spawn command like you would have on a server, but this is just in vanilla Minecraft, plain vanilla, no plugins, nothing. So, add spawn, and then trigger. Oh, <laughs> well, I tried. I was doing some experimenting, so I already had that, but it would have it would have like said it added it. So, what you want to go on to do? So basically, this is making it so you can um so everyone can access this so i'm going to so you're going to make a it repeating unconditional and always active so we're going to now you're going to type in the command scoreboard object sorry a scoreboard players add at a spawn and then you get a little message i'm already added to it but you can then you're going to get a little message saying added jj pit to to, to um enabled it for jj pit or your username so now we're gonna want to do is the actual execute execute command, and for this, since we're doing a um a spawn thing, I made up a little spawn platform. You're either gonna want to do F3 and C, or you could go to F3, and this is the really easier way because you don't have to mess with it. Because it, if you do it, see, it's execute. Yeah, it's just uh, really confusing. So what I usually do is just type in in chat. So 22, 57, negative 33. And then now you're going to want to do, so you see that in chat, so this is a single player, so it doesn't go away. So you want to do execute. So it's kind of like if this equals, then do this at, because you're going to want to teleport the person, the nearest person, which is going to be the player it's at executing the command at a, and these brackets, scores equal. And then you want to do spawn like with, inside the squiggly brackets equals one and close those. Then you want to do run, and then you want to do run teleport, or TP, nearest player, which is at P, and then the coordinates you wrote down over here in chat. So that'll be 22, 57, negative 30, 33. And you want to make this command block repeating, and always act. So... So if you do it right now, it would be a little it would be a little messy. So if I do slash trigger spawn, see it makes me trapped here. Also, I got a little off, but that's okay. So if you're stuck like this, you all you have to do is spawn set zero. It looks like I got messed up. Okay, so <sighs> wait. Okay, <laughs> so I seem to be messed up here, so I'll be right back. Oh, sorry for that mishap. I seemed a little messed up a little bit, but that's... So I'm back now. So that's an example of what you don't want to do. So now that we cut that out of the way, let's... Um, so you want to actually, if you're going to be far away from this, you may want to force load these chunks. So what I usually do is just um, force load add and then do one and then control a and control c which copies it to your clipboard and then i usually just go up here and like add block and then slash force load oh actually not that you you uh, copy and you paste it and then press enter and then now these will always be loaded so you don't have to be within the chunks so as you saw in the last clip it basically messed up and i was stuck in the air you don't want that to happen, so what you do, take a command block, 
make it a chain command block, conditional, and always active. So it'll be just green with like a little piece for it to fit in. So what you want to do is scoreboard, players, set, at A, then spawn, then zero, zero. So once this command's executed, you won't get stuck and it'll just set zero. Then you can do it again. So let's make sure we have all the command blocks. And then again, these um commands will be in the description of this video. So if you don't really want to like just worry about typing in, you can just copy and paste it on your own. Um, I I messed up here. It's enable at a spawn. Sorry, that's my bad. Um, I'll see. So if you're watching the end of the video, I'll, I'll basically just I'll fix that. Okay, so now we want if you want to go to spawn, which is going to be over there. So slash trigger spawn. Look, and then now you got teleporter over there, which I think is pretty pretty neat. So now it's time for some other types of um, commands with the trigger command, and these are going to be quite fun. So what I'm going to do is so put another command block down, and I'm going to make add another scoreboard objective. So scoreboard objectives add. I'm going to call it uh, diamond and trigger make it a trigger then it made it that so now you want to basically like we did with the spawn one you had scoreboard objectives not add like i messed up last time players enable at a diamond and you want to make that a repeating unconditional and always active command block so now let's see enable trigger diamond for jj pit so now you want to make a execute command like we did with spawn so execute at at a and then scores equals uh sorry i always have a trouble time spelling i always have a bad time spelling while i can't talk today equals one so now we have that and then run set block and then set block and it's going to be at the player so you're going to have a one of the squiggly lines and a squiggly line with a negative one next to it and then a space then another squiggly line and then we said diamond so i'm going to do diamond block or it can be really be any block you want it's up to the up to you and then replace because why not make this a repeating command block unconditional command block and always active so now you want to do is slash trigger diamond set one and then now you can see it's kind of like you have scaffold x but in vanilla i think it's really neat then now well now you're like jj what am i gonna do now it's stuck well i can fix that for you so you do slash trigger again the diamond set zero and then now you can be normal and have this weird thing art piece you can call it so yeah that's basically it um that's basically the basics of um, um commands with, tr with custom commands with the trigger and execute commands. Like you, I've used it on some custom made adventure maps I've made, and you can really get into de detail and use them for really efficiently and really complex ways. It really it ends up being a lot of fun when you're using this. And I, as you can see, I forgot to turn off night cycle and mob spawning. So and thank you for watching my very first tutorial and remember to subscribe like and comment your favorite part of the video or really ask any questions because i will i'll be always willing to answer any questions you pose so yeah i also stream um i i re stream sometimes i haven't been streaming a lot lately but basically whenever you do turn on notifications when you subscribe so you can get notified whenever i post a video or or a stream so thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day and i'll see you guys later